Hey guys, what is up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. You already know the deal. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. So I've been getting so many questions on Instagram and on my vlog channel about my braids. I love them so freaking much. Like this is just my go-to style now for traveling because it's so easy. It looks bomb. It kind of reminds me of my own hair just because it has, you know, the little curls in it and everything. So I don't feel like too different. Like honestly this is hands down my favorite style i did the dreads i did the box braids um even though this is similar to box braids it's sort of like the bohemian goddess kind of style to it um because it has the curls sort of like messy-ish y'all i'm in love with this style and you guys have been asking me so many questions about it so i didn't do them myself unfortunately so i can't give you an in-depth tutorial but i'm going to show you guys sorry you're playing I'll wait. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how my friend did it. And I'm gonna explain to you guys to the best of my ability. I ain't no hairstylist, so bear with me. Um, I did want to show you guys the hair that I used, though. I did use Expressions hair for this style. I used it in the color number two, and then I also used. I'm not sure what the blonde color is, but I used like a random blonde color just so I can get a little, you know, a little flare to going on. So yeah, I did use. I think about two and a half packs or three packs of expressions braiding hair y'all and the crazy thing is is that i've had this in for probably over a month now and it still looks pretty popping so yeah i do have like a little bit of dandruff going on but honestly i really didn't take care of my scalp while i had these braids in i literally did nothing to my hair if i'm being quite honest i didn't want to do anything to my hair so yeah these are like a month old i don't even want to take them out but i got ish to do with my natural hair definitely i'm going to do it again when i'm going to southeast asia in november if you guys want to stay tuned to those vlogs definitely subscribe to my vlog channel i just went to brazil i rocked these in brazil and it was the best thing ever <laughs> anyways like i said if you're not already subscribed hit that mother effing subscribe button down below um so you know every time i upload a video and i'll see you guys all in the next one what's up it's your girl bonds is that girl make sure you follow my hair page hair by bonds at hair by bonds on instagram um i specialize in locks full locks goddess locks um and also single braids box braids cane roll <laughs> and um sometimes twist it depends and um yeah so follow my page here by bonds dm me if you want pricing and yeah <laughs> Okay guys, so let's just hop right into it. As you can see, my hair is pretty damp. I didn't bother blow dry just because I didn't want to put heat on my hair for no reason. And I feel like it's so much easier to work with when my hair is damp like this because it doesn't look as thick and it's not as thick. And because she's doing smaller sections, I feel like if my hair was blow dried, I would have a lot more um, braids in my head just because the look of it and the thickness of it. So yeah, that's why I opted to leave it wet and comes to find out it was a lot easier to do my hair like this. So the first thing Bonds did was section my hair off into a half section and then she's creating a smaller section starting from the bottom looking something like this or exactly like this. And then she's going to create the parts. She's going to kind of feel out how many parts I need in each section before she starts braiding. So for me, I decided to use grease just because of the smell. You don't have to use grease at all, but I wanted to. So yeah, she's just putting a little bit of that on and I also moisturize prior to braiding. Moisturize and deep condition, which is super important. So now she's just taking the braiding hair and feathering it out so it's not super even and it looks a lot more natural. This is not an exact tutorial because she's not showing you how to braid, but pretty much she wrapped the braiding hair around my hair and then you braid like a regular braid. I don't know how to do it myself. I'm not a braider. But yeah, she's just making a single box braid. If you guys want a tutorial on that, YouTube it, sorry. And she's braiding it almost all the way down, which you will see just now. So as you can see, she didn't braid all the way down. She left some hair out at the bottom and you will see why coming soon. And then she's just going to do the same thing to the rest of that section. Yeah. 
Okay, so once that section is done, as you can see, she did not braid it all the way down. There's a lot of hair, you know, kind of left out. So what she's gonna do with that is braid it into one big braid. And this is what's gonna create that nice wave and that nice curl and give you that bohemian goddess look. So yeah, you just wanna braid that all the way down. Try to be as taut and as firm as possible. It's gonna give you that really nice crimp. And then we're gonna move on to the next section. And I'm gonna just run the clips and play some music for you guys because it's pretty much straightforward. You'll just see what she's doing and you can follow along or tell your hairdresser to follow along. Okay, so right here, I just want to show you guys this one clip just because I'm putting in some blonde hair and literally she's just taking random sections of my hair and adding the blonde in and this is gonna give me that really nice pop of color. She's kind of like framing my face and just putting in random places that she thinks will look good on me. So yeah, I didn't want my whole hair to be blonde, but I did want a little bit of peekaboo. So yeah, she's adding that blonde in and I feel like it just looks so much better than it all being one color. So I'm going to give you guys a close up to show you guys what she did so far. So as you can see at this top section, she braided all of those braids all the way down. And in this middle section right here, this is where she did not braid the hair all the way down. And then she gathered the hair up and put it into one big braid, which is going to give me the curl or the crimp later on. So yeah, as you can see, she randomly just picked pieces or picked pieces of hair to braid all the way down or to not braid. It really just depends on what you want. If you want a lot of the waves going on or if you don't. So it's really up to you. So yeah, now I'm just gonna give you guys a different angle and she's just gonna continue the braiding process. Yeah, while I snack on my snacks and everything else I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so this is what my hair looks like once she's finished braiding. This is about probably six or seven hours later. It took a really long time, but the results are gonna be worth it. So yeah, I'm looking hella crazy right now, but I just want to show you guys how my hair is looking on my end, just to give you guys an idea of what she did. It's looking crazy, but once it's all said and done, it's gonna look hella, hella bomb. So the next thing she's doing is dipping my hair in the water. This is super, super important because it sort of seals the braids together. This is what's also gonna give my braids, those big chunky braids, that wave and that bohemian look that I want. So you wanna make sure that you're putting the steaming hot water all over your hair. If not, your braids are gonna unravel and it's not gonna look cute. Plus you won't get the, you know, the bohemian goddess wavy look that you're going for, or that I'm going for. So yeah, I'm just carefully dipping my hair in the water. This is the only method that I had at my house, so we working with what we got, okay? Makeshift hair studios. <laughs> so yeah, you wanna be super careful because this is some hot ass boiling water and you don't wanna burn yourself, but Bonds is a pro, so she won't burn you at all. All right, so once I'm done dipping my hair in the water, Bonds is just gonna go through and cut off all the straggly pieces of hair so it looks like real nice and crisp. Of course you don't want to cut it super blunt because that's just going to look fake. You want it to look natural so, you know, she's just cutting off all the straggly ends. And then once that is complete, she's just going to take down all of the big chunky braids and you are going to see my hair wave up and it's going to look so, so, so nice. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm so in love with this hairstyle. It's crazy. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's giving me that real nice body wave or like that nice ocean wave yeah it's lit all 
All right, so this is what my hair looks like once it's complete. I am so in love with this hairstyle. Definitely my go-to for traveling. It's super, super, super lightweight. I can actually put my hair up into a bun unlike the rest of the uh, protective styles that I did before. And I actually put some beads in it as well to give it more of that bohemian look. And when I tell you this style is super affordable compared to the bohemian box braids that are going around on Instagram, this is just using Expressions hair and you really pretty much get the same look. So super in love with this style. It held up really well in Brazil and I can't wait to do it again. Definitely check out Bonds Is That Girl. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in the next one.